guys, so it's me and Kim right here, and she is five months, almost six months, but I didn't want to skip over her five month update since so much has been going on, and how she switched, switched up her schedule, and all that kind of stuff, so I just kind of want to do a quick little update here, and probably soon after this you'll see her six month update, but for five months, and she's still in three month clothing, so she's wearing three months clothes. And she is growing. She was 13 pounds when we went to the doctor. She was, that was for her four month checkup, but she was almost five months. So um, pretty much at five months, she is 13 pounds, but I think she's growing, growing some more now. I've tried a little bit of baby food, not much. I know, I feel like everybody like freaked out when I put up her, up her first baby food video because they were like, what? She's still so little. She was early and all that kind of stuff. But that really was the very first introduced in baby food at all. I done like a rice cereal mix with a little bit of carrots and I just said it her first baby food was carrots and she did like not really care much about it. She really just made more of a mess and it was just fun and she laughed and so we're just doing that every once in a while in the afternoon. She's mostly still on her bottle schedule and I'll talk about that in just a second. Afternoons with baby food probably about you know before she gets her last bottle like for dinner time I'll give her a little bit of rice cereal mixed with a little bit of baby food sometimes not every night like just every once in a while just trying to get her used to it because she's trying to get used to like learning how to eat baby food and all that kind of stuff but she loves her bottles and she's still only taking six ounces with her bottles she really could probably still do like five ounces. She's not like, and sometimes she doesn't even finish her bottle. Like this baby, I feel like she's more worried about like her sleep schedule than her eating schedule. <laughs> she would rather get her sleep out. Like sometimes if she doesn't get her whole nap out before it's time for her to eat again, she will fuss like and want to go back, like take another little nap before she eats or or whatever, and she's a really good sleeper, thankfully, thankfully. All my babies have been good sleepers, though. So, that's been great. But, anyway, so she eats normally around seven or eight when she gets up for the day. She'll eat her six ounce bottle, and then she's happy as can be. And normally, she eats about every three hours, she eats her six ounce bottle. Um, so, it kind of just depends, because she's like a, she doesn't get up at the same time every day, so you just never know for sure what time she's gonna start eating. To, and then sometimes she'll end up taking like this long sledge, stretch of nap, sledge, <laughs> stretch of nap where she will end up being like four hours before she eats another bottle. And then sometimes she does, she's not on the schedule like mother girls were where they would eat, stay awake for a little bit and then take a nap. And then when they wake up, they're ready to eat. Like sometimes she can eat, take a little nap, wake up, take a little nap, then eat, or she could eat, stay awake a while, nap, then get woke up before her nap is up like I was talking about and want to take another little nap before she's ready to eat. Like she is, like during the day she's on her own schedule. She does what she wants to do, but I do try to get her to eat every three hours, but she could go longer sometimes, so it really just depends. But her nighttime routine is pretty steadily. Usually she'll eat her last bottle anywhere from seven to nine normally around eight she normally wants to lay down about nine but once we get her bedtime routine going like bath her lavender lotion she's got her sound maker on and it's dark and all that and she still likes to be swaddled guys she likes to be swaddled up i've tried to switch her though from the swaddle blankets that like really keep her arms tight in to just swaddling her with like a regular bigger swaddle blanket so that she can get her arms out and all and she likes to lay down with her swaddle blanket swaddled up and then she normally will sleep all night and if she does wake up at all which normally she doesn't if she does wake up it's usually like way earlier in the morning like five ish to six and i'll try to squeeze in give her a passy and let her sleep for like another hour sometimes that works um most of the time it does if she does wake up at all um, sometimes she'll sleep till in the morning, it just depends. So sometimes, most of the time I give her a pass it and she'll sleep, take another little nap stretch before like the girls get up in the morning and like she's ready and we're all ready to get up in the morning. So thankfully, thankfully, thankfully she sleeps so good that way. 
and but she's so good that way. And but she's a big spitter upper. She spits up a lot, a lot, a lot. Like right now, she's doing good, but before this video is over, she's probably gonna go and spit up. Like, and I can just be holding her, walking around with her, and she just like spits up out of nowhere, and it just comes out so. Like, if you guys know babies that spit up, it just comes out so fast and it, like, gets everywhere before you can even realize it. It's, like, crazy. But she does. She spits up a lot. So, I try to tell people when they're holding her, especially right after she's eight, make sure they have, like, her burp cloth. Um, or her... Bless you! Like, I'm always changing her bibs, changing her clothes, and she likes to have her diaper changed. That's a different. That's another different thing. The girls, they weren't so much on their diapers, like having to be changed. But she could just be a little bit wet, and she'll be so fussy. I'm like, do you want your diaper changed? Don't you? And I change her diaper, and she'll be happy as can be. She loves to be naked too, just with her diaper on, no clothes. Because when I have to change her a lot, I end up letting her be like that for a little bit and just lay around, like on the floor, where she'll be like rolling over. And she's definitely rolling over now. Um, she's rolling over every which way and if she's in the floor and I'm not like watching her really closely she'll end up being on the other side of the floor won't you? I think she's already trying to keep up with her sisters there she goes usually spit out comes with that burp oh, oh there it comes see it's coming out let me go get her up <laughs> there see I'll show you guys that is a lost spit up and that will be like five times hold on okay Anyway, so that's what I mean. She spits up like that a lot. And if I'm not holding her like kind of like this, then and this is what she wants to do too. She wants to be where she can stand up. If she like is not still at all unless she's sleeping. She like constantly going. She loves to sit in her bouncy and bouncy around. Um, with she loves to vibrate and anything, any seat that vibrates, she loves it. She likes to sit in her bouncy though and kick her feet like crazy. She goes crazy. She loves to sit in her bumbo. She is starting to sit up a little bit. What? What? Who am I talking to? Who are you talking to, Mama? She loves music. Like a lot of Spotify and a lot of times that we just hang out and she wants to listen to her music. She loves her passy if I don't get really here in it. <laughs> she loves bath time. She can stay in the bath forever at night I try to get her a bath really almost every night just because she spits up so much and it just gets everywhere and I feel like she just gets dirty more often than the other girls but I try to do every other night but most of the time it's about every night um, and it just gets her a little bit more out for bedtime and let's see I think that's about it I can't remember she's still in her three month clothing she's in her size one diapers maybe by six to seven months she'll start moving up I don't know but in zero to three not three to six it's usually zero to three or it says three months um but I bet soon we'll be moving up to three to six stuff I don't know we'll see she's just saying say little my little petite little girl and the summer I cannot wait for this summer like this winter has just been so hectic with like our move and everything and I'm just like, I'm like so ready for a vacation and we've just been so busy. But this summer, I think she's going to love the pool since she loves bath time and she'll probably start walking this summer around her first birthday, maybe a little bit after since she was early. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go this time. I guess we'll see. I think she's going to be little and petite trying to walk around where I'm used to my bigger, chunkier baby girls. I don't know though, if she starts this baby food, she might start gaining her some little bit of weight, huh? See, I don't know. I don't know. And her sisters still love her. They want to hold her. Kinsley is holding her a little bit while she's standing up and Kinsley like loves that. When we were out for like holiday break and when I had stowed and stuff, Kinsley was getting her in the mornings when she heard her. She was getting her up and carrying her to me, to my bed and she was like, Kinsley was loving that. And then Claire Bear, of course, still wants to help anytime I try to feed her or wants to hold her, change her diaper. She throws her diapers away for me. She's, they're both a big help, actually, with baby sister, so that's really awesome. Um, she's actually about to go with me to work. Usually me or Joel kind of works out. When he's busy, I'll stay at home with her, and then when I'm busy, he stays at home with her, and we've been able to work it out that way. But... 
today, the birthday thing at school for Kenzo, so he was going to read me that. And so I'm going to take her with me to the shop, like right now, in just a few minutes. But you want me to put you down. She likes to be put down. Um, she doesn't like me to hold her, hold her, hold her, hold her all the time. She likes for me to put her down a little bit. And I guess I can show you my belly again. I don't think it's really changed much. I'm really back to my like pre pregnancy way. I just feel like I don't exactly look exactly like I used to, especially with the C section and all, but it's okay. It'll get there. You're totally fine, huh? Okay, here's my belly if y'all wanted to see it for her. Five months, and I think I'll be pretty much done showing y'all my belly. I don't think it's changed much, really, like at all. So, but that's it. And then, incision. Oh. Incision is still there. But it really just looks about the same now. So, that's it. I'm still trying to go to the gym and all, but anyways. But I'm still trying to go to the gym, but it's been, it really has been hard, though. Trying to get our place up and up and all. But thanks guys so much for watching. Take care. Subscribe, comment, like. Check out our daily vlogs. I'm trying to keep up with those. But life has been busy. Hopefully we'll get back on track and do a lot more vlogs and all soon. And try to get to more. I want to do some challenges or like tag videos. Haven't done those in a while. I really want to do update on Kimberly and Claire also. Where they turn three uh -huh. and seven. Which is crazy. I want to try to do those every year around their birthdays. I know I'm behind on Claire's, but I do want to do that to see how they change every year. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye!